the breath is a kind of medicine for the mind and for the body. Think about it, John Lee out there in the forest had a heart attack and he was able to use the breath to get his health back together again. At the end of three months he was able to walk out of the forest for three days. Of course, what this means you have to be really sensitive to what the breath can do in the body. Notice how the way you breathe has an impact on the level of energy in the different parts of the body. Try to notice which parts of the body are getting lots of energy, which parts are getting overworked when you breathe, which parts are not getting any involvement at all. Try to bring things into balance. You have to compensate sometimes for old habits. But it's a good way of keeping the mind interested in the present moment and get you more and more sensitive both to the breath and to the mind. You begin to realize that certain ways of perceiving the breath cause it to go in different directions. If you change the perception, sometimes we feel that we've got to pull the breath down into the body. And sometimes that takes, gets things out of balance. Think about when you breathe in, the energy comes welling up from within. How does that change things? Flip things around like this, and you'll find that you learn a lot about the breath in the body and the, its impact on the rest of the body, and also the impact of the mind and the breath, the impact of the breath on the mind. And it's when you see these connections, the inside arises. If you just see things coming and going, coming and going, but you don't see why they're coming or why they're going, there's no way that you're going to figure out why stress and suffering are coming and going. It's not just a matter of watching things arise and pass and say, okay, that's, that's enough, I've had enough of that. The mind doesn't have enough that way. It's when you see that something you like to do is causing bad results. That's, that's when you learn how to let go. But you also need to know that you've got an option, you've got an alternative, and that's what we try to provide here with the breath. Give you alternative ways of thinking about the body, thinking about the mind, dealing with the energy in the body and the mind. So if you see that something is unskillful, it leads to a state of unrest in the body, a state of unrest in the mind, okay, you know you can change. You've got better alternatives. You're not just stuck with things as they are. So it's in this way that working with the breath provides you with insight, the kind of insight that really does dig down and find what causes are causing stress right now and what you can do to change them, what you can do to let go. So don't just focus on the breath so you can get past it. You've got to look into the breath, because it's in looking into the breath that you start seeing the deeper parts of the mind as well. Otherwise, when you focus on the path, the path will take you where you want to go without your having to anticipate or keep glancing down to the end of the road. You focus right where you are. Give it your full attention and it will show its full results. <laughs>